So, uh, uh, hear that? It's a Sunday, and uh, in these academic buildings, they hold church and such. So, uh, I guess it's appropriate what we're going to talk about today. It's a little, uh, not diversion, but um, I've had an interesting life, but there's this, there's this thing uh, that Christians say, you know, Christians are people that follow Christ to learn about, about you know, God, uh, versus, you know, say, well, other people who follow, like the Hindus or the Muslims who follow somebody else to understand, you know, God or what I call, uh, you know, the universe, the universal force. Anyway, so universe, uh, and this Christian saying, basically they say, uh, we walk by faith, not by sight. Interesting. I don't think a lot of people want to do that, right? <laughs> but I, but I have actually, uh, and it's interesting. I, I, I have, I have written for some reason. This happens to me all the time. Like one year, uh, for some reason, I just started uh, working my computer, my mouse on my computer with my with my left hand. And months later, like six, seven months later, no, nine months later. I had to, I was in a situation where I actually had to use my left hand for a computer because I was at a, at a broadcast desk and when they made it, they made all the, some controls over here like that, but then the computer, anyway, so I had to like be a, you know, an octopus and like that, but it was helpful to have the, the mouse on the left hand side, kind of interesting, you know? I mean, I've had other experiences like that. I mean, just coming out, so I won't get into that, but just had other experiences like that. You know, where um, I don't know, I just do something and then all of a sudden it manifests. Like even these, even these uh, commentaries, these, these dispatches, uh, what happens is I just found out, and I've been doing these for like a year and a half, two years almost, and, um, and my, my, my advisor, who again is another miracle that I would have, to, the exact advice that I would need for my postgraduate studies, anyway, they're going to start something next year, you know, to deal with modules and this kind of thing is going to be a part of it. Sorry for the long intro. But um, for some very strange reason, I decided to write down uh, my uh, certain what I call spiritual or religious or whatever, uh, uh, not experience, well, experiences, contacts, whatever, like that. And I just started with a, with a uh, um, uh, I, I call it the religious journeys of Saint Anthony, child of a womb. What can I tell you? That's from the Yoruba pantheon from, from West Africa. Uh, and uh, it starts with, uh, uh, well, I start, I, it's no particular order, I just, as I came to my head. This first one up here is uh, this uh, uh, Babalao, this uh, Babino, uh, from the Candomblé um, branch of the Yoruba religion. Uh, you know, uh, comes out of Nigeria or a uh, province of Nigeria and spread. You know, you have this my, my strain, well, I have a strain, but you know, you go to Cuba and, and the States, and that's why, you know, like for instance, my, the colors for the States. Or red, black, and green. Hey, red, black, and green. Hey, actually, a little bit of red and a lot of black and green. Uh, anyway, to make a long story short, when I was in Brazil, uh, Babino, who's like he's like the third at the time, it's in the in the in the nineties. At the time, he was like the third uh, highest ranking, you know, uh, cat in the in the, in the contemplate circumstance uh, in all of Brazil. And he and I went. I had the chance to go to his comp compound. I won't go through the whole thing, uh, but anyway, at some particular point, you know, he revealed to the people that was there that he dreamt that I was coming. I, being a child of a goon, was coming, and I had done a bunch of other things. Anyway, so I considered that experience, and that's where I, when I did my uh, salute to the to the Orisha, a different salute, and I was the first one to go. I just did what I usually do. Not, I didn't know anything about the, about what to do, and I asked him, "Was that all right?" They said, "Yeah." And actually, it was the exact way that, you know, there's, there's, there's female Orishas and the male Orishas, but it's the exact way you're supposed to do the male Orishas, the way I did it. And so, Babino's the first one there. Um, then I have the, also in Brazil, there's the Our Lady of Rosary Slave Built Church in Bahia, you know, Santa Cruz de Bahia. That's where the, the, the northern part of Brazil, where all the black people really are. Um, so, I prayed there. When I was praying there, sort of number three, right, where I was praying. Three is one of my numbers. Also, it's a, you know, spiritual number, sacred number, whatever it is. Um, I, had, I, 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 I experienced a voodoo, a, 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 an authentic voodoo uh, ceremony at the City College of New York. Yes, uh, uh, Brother James Small, he, uh, he invited me and I came and that's, I, that's in the 80s. So I, I, that's why I first hooked up with Brother Small, that's not first hooked up, but that was one of my experiences with Brother James Small, who's a fantastic person. It's just 
just engine surgeon, James Small, S-M-A-L-L. -L. You can even say Professor James Small, S-M-A-L-L. -L. It's an amazing cat. He's given me a lot of, um, even some of my uh, dispatches, a lot of uh, uh, spiritual insight. Uh, I saw my third eye in, in, in Gambia, in the Gambia. My third eye, I saw it for a long time. I was there. I can't tell you what was happening, but I was there. I was dancing by myself, saw it in the mirror. I was there. It was real third eye. Also in that area of the world, uh, the Gori Island. You know, the, the door of no return, the slave kind of thing, fortress, whatever they want to call it. Well, uh, I was possessed there. My ancestors tried to grab me back. Luckily, some sisters grabbed me out of there. And thing. But, you know, it was like an amazing ex experience. I was definitely possessed. People were jumping out of my way and everything like that. Um, I, 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 I did a meditation. I was, I was the only person there. I did a meditation at the, at the uh, Mata Madir in India, which is in, in, in Oroville, India, which is like unusual because they just heard people through. But I was there for like a whole morning meditating. Like that. Uh, also in that same area of the world, you know, um, uh, India, uh, Southeast India, uh, um, Tamil Nadu state, uh, Sri Aurobindo's ashram. I visited there and got a blessing from from from, uh, from Sri Aurobindo's ashram. Uh, bathed in the Ganges River, still in India here, uh, up there near the, uh, up, up top. Uh, I, I visited in Thailand. I visited the reclining Buddha. I didn't go to any any you know any temples there, but I did I, I did go to the reclining Buddha. So that. Also in that area of the world, Laos, the Mekong River, there's the um, the, the Paku caves uh, of, of the Buddhas on the Mekong River. Saw them. Very few people get to do that. Uh, I prayed. I pray. I, pray, I even prayed in the Sistine Chapel. That's why I prayed at the Sistine Chapel when I was in Rome. I did. Also wrote the Holy Seal, you know, the Pope letter when I was there. Um, also, uh, well, in Italy, the Basilica uh, of Saint uh, Saint Anthony. Well, in Padua. Now, Saint Anthony. I, I guess, you know, well, I'll get to that another time. But anyway, St. Anthony, his esophagus, his tongue, whatever, is buried at the, at the church of, um, of St. Anthony in Padua. Visited there. Um, visited the Holy City Tuba in, in Senegal, India. India, Senegal, 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 <laughs> Africa. <laughs> the Holy City of Tuba. Wow, that was an experience. Um, you know, a Muslim kind of, kind of thing. Uh, uh, I, in fact, that East, one Easter Sunday, I took mass at the um, at the Basilica of Our Saint uh, of Our Lady of uh, Guadalupe uh, in Mexico City. Big thing. Also, Mexico City with those two pyramids, the sun and the moon. I was I had an experience, a spiritual experience in that thing. It was a stormy day. It was an interesting thing. Um, uh, attended mass at St. Patrick's Cathedral, New York City, hey, my home state. Uh, oh, the, oh, the, the, the Grotto Holy Wall is up in upstate New York. There, uh, also there. Also, I was at the Blue Cliff uh, Monastery. That's uh, Thich Nhat Hanh's uh, a monastery affiliated with, with there, so hanging out with the Buddhists uh, or Thich Nhat Hanh's. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, hanging out at the Tabernacle at uh, Marcus Garvey Village in Philippi in South Africa, okay, in Cape Town. Uh, I got a blessing uh, just this past year from a high priestess. Uh, a, a, a Ghanaian high priestess, so that, 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 there's a blessing that's there. Got to wear it till it falls off, like that. Um, also, uh, remember, I was baptized at the, at the St. Anthony of, of Padua Church, not in Italy, but St. Anthony of Padua Church in the Bronx, in the, you know, in the Bronx, where I was born. So I was baptized there at the, the baptismal fount there. Uh, but I will tell you that I was in, when I was in um, Amman, Jordan, I did sort of kind of, well, I sort of, I want to say refused, but I had an opportunity to go to the Dead Sea, but I, I wasn't feeling it because I just, I just didn't do it, you know, like that. But, 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 but I bring all this up because interesting things happen. There's some particular point in your life you're supposed to, you're supposed to, like everybody is supposed to, I won't say share, but you're supposed to pass your something on, knowledge on, you're supposed to become a teacher in a, in a sense. You don't have to be a tutor, let's go to the tutor rather than a teacher. Anyway, and uh, so I had written this thing. Uh, uh, and then like two, three days later at the most, I was walking through Alice and this, uh, this uh, cat, this young, yeah, this young cat came into me, he's, he's, uh, he's of the Rasta community, uh, the Rastafarian community. He, he, he came up to me and, uh, and he says, uh, oh, Brother Elder, uh, uh, when you were speaking, this was a while ago, about spirituality, I want to learn more about spirituality. Da, da, da. And it was interesting because I had this in my bag, so I pulled it out and I said, really? So I just went through the whole thing just like I went through with you. And I, I basically 
said to him, well, you know, I don't teach. You know, if you ever get an email from me, it says, you know, I follow no one and I seek no followers. So it's, but uh, something just said to me, I need to deal with this, right? So I made, a, uh, I made a thing with him. I said, look, uh, no one can teach you spirituality or religion or whatever. I mean, you need religion. If you want to go to church, you have a community of people, that's fine. You know what I mean? But this whole spiritual journey is your own journey, you know? Uh, and uh, I mean, I don't know what I can do for you because I, I, I'm not going to tell you anything. You can't follow me. You can't take the same steps I had. I mean, like, when I was in Mexico, I, I, I took, the, for instance, I took the peyote, you know, and walked up this, the, the, this mountain. That's the way you're supposed to do it. Really, I had fasted before I did that. Now, you know, many people don't, don't get to do it. They don't understand that. You know, they take the peyote to, 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 to get high, to alter their state. I took the peyote, but I, I addressed it right. I was, I had fasted before. So usually when you take the peyote, you, you throw up, you vomit, right? But me, nothing happened. They're like candy. And people look at me like, wow, how did you do that? Da, 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 da. Anyway, so I tell them, I don't know if I can do this. Anyway, so I made a deal. I said, okay, look, you can, you can come on Saturdays uh, to, 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 to here, to the university. I'll put you on the computer and, you know, we'll give you, we'll, we'll look at different uh, things about religion. And, and spirituality, and then maybe that's 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 an entree into your into your world. But my advice always is just to travel, travel the world. So yesterday he was supposed to come, but he didn't come. And I saw him later on. I said, look, I'm a trained stage manager. You know, I'm a, I'm, I'm. It's not that I'm, I'm, I'm an American, but I'm But I insist on time. So if you want to come, you come at a certain time. You know, or close to that time. If you don't, you don't. That's it. So that's it. I might have a. a I don't say a. a an acolyte, but uh, a, a, a person that's, that I can uh, show things to spiritually. Um, and perhaps that somehow this is supposed to happen because I made that list, that person came to me. And so I have to follow, I basically have to follow what the universe says do or puts in my path. So that's why I have to do it with this young boy. So that's it for me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.